Hello, and welcome back to LOH News. I'm your host, Scott. For the fifth year in a row, chronically online males have taken the vow not to zerk off during the month of November. On a completely unrelated note, icy hot cells have plummeted. Are you too lazy to look outside your window? That's good. That means gets to keep his job. Good morning, everyone. My name is and you're watching LOH News on this fine, uh... Scott, when do we hear this show? Not specified. Oh. Well, uh, I'm the new weather anchor here at LOH News, and I'm mildly glad to be here. Now, starting off with the weather today, the HAA uh, powers that be have chosen a blindingly bright sky for the eighth day in a row. And boy, do I miss the sun. Not the fake one you're seeing up there, either. It's the one they're hiding from us. I used to be able to stare into it for hours, but the new fake one, it just hurts. It's painful. Anyway, uh, the weather for tomorrow is going to be whatever weather will inconvenience you the most. It's like a choose-your-own-adventure story. Anyways, this is your LOH News Anchor, signing off. Thanks. Up next, a college student cooks a very controversial meal causing mass uproar in the community. Live at the scene is me. You're live! Thanks, Scott. I'm here at the scene where just last Thursday, a local college student cooked what many have dubbed to be the worst steak ever. Shortly after, he was asked to leave the premises. Hello, sir. I'm sorry to bother you. Um, I have a quick question. It'll, it'll only take a second. What do you think about this steak? What the fuck?! That's supposed to be steak. That looks like it's made out of cricket meat. If I saw whoever made that in real life, I would kill him. That should look like the battle pass. So, tell me your side of the story. I remember it like it was last Thursday. I was walking home and my roommate called me excitedly, telling me about how he found like a, like a good deal on some steaks and how he was going to make me one. Naturally, I, you know, I stopped by the gas station and I bought the cheapest bottle of wine I could find. We were going to eat good tonight. But, when I arrived... Is that already cooked? Not yet, I'm about to season them. Then why is it brown? It's the sign of a good quality steak. I tried so, so hard to convince him that the steak wasn't edible, but he wouldn't listen to me, so I invited over our neighbors to come see it to try and talk him out of eating it. Oh my god, bro. Oh, hell no, man. What the fuck, man? Get your ass on, buddy. It's probably not even that bad. You over-exaggerate everything. Just look at it. Come on in and ask him to show you the steak. Look, I came in there with the full intention of backing him up because he's my friend. You gotta back up your friends, you know? That was until I actually saw the steak in person. I just couldn't let him eat that, man. You know, sometimes being a good friend requires you calling them out on their shit, you know? Frederick is the nicest person I know. I had never seen him act like he did on that day. Dude, don't eat that. Look, I think we're gonna have to ban your kitchen privileges for this one. For why? I, um, I, I think you know why you're being interviewed. No, why? Good steak? 
H- how? Looks delicious. How? How does it not? Uh, uh, uh. You, you should try some. N- no thanks. No, no thank you. Can you really call yourself a journalist if you don't have both sides of the story? Everyone who told me my steak was bad didn't even bother trying it. I bought the steaks of their quality. They're good steaks. Hello, viewers. We're currently at Gerald's apartment where the infamous steak was made. He's cooking me a steak currently as we speak. We have a nurse on standby in case anything goes wrong. His roommate, Riley, is wearing a hazmat suit. Should be good. Here you go. Ah. Uh... The outside looks unwelcoming. Rough. I I feel a pit in my stomach in its presence. A primal urge to escape. But as soon as I bite down, I am greeted by its more tender side. A sweet side no one could have possibly guessed was underneath its threatening exterior. Oh my god, it's a cindery steak. Dude, I'm not eating that. You're on live television, by the way. Hey, Gerald, can I borrow your Miku fig? What's going on here? You have got to try this steak. I can't. It's like bad for the planet or something. (coughs) Oh. Before we move on to our last segment, I want to talk about today's sponsor real quick. Umori's Military Horse Glue. The first glue made for horses by horses. Mm, Let's see here. Mm, Kind of tastes like... Mm, Kind of tastes like... um, mm, Yeah. That's the best glue I've ever tasted. 7 out of 10. For our next segment, I'll be interviewing a guest that unfortunately can't make it over here. So, we're gonna have to be filming this segment in my apartment. Alright, we're here. I have to pretend to fall asleep first so he feels comfy breaking in, but before that, I'll put on some coffee so it's ready by the time he arrives. Hey. Hey. Can you wake me up when our guest arrives? Thank you. Hello. Oh, uh, hi, man. Do you want some coffee? I made some coffee. I just feel a little misunderstood, you know? Like I don't even steal stuff most of the time. I just grab a little snack from the fridge and live in your walls. I'm really not bothering anyone. Yeah, for sure. I've seen the videos and you haven't done anything evil or hurt anyone. 
Literally all I ever do besides grab a snack is record a podcast on other people's equipment. Is that so wrong? You have a podcast? What's your podcast about? Oh, you know, I just gather my Discord friends and we record a call where we talk about enemies, promethazine, and the Bible. It's called Friends Beer and Manga. See? Look. Why don't you start a podcast, dude? You have the equipment. I know because I use it all the time. Oh, also, I deleted one of your files to make room for my latest podcast episode, by the way. Hope you don't mind. Oh, no worries. It was probably just tomorrow's weather. The predictions are never right anyway. As for why not start a podcast, uh, it just doesn't seem profitable? I guess it would be a little silly for you to make a podcast since you're making a killing as a newsman, huh? Uh, yeah. Hey, you mind if I grab an apple? I wouldn't recommend it. I saw a headline somewhere that said apples contain huge traces of microplastics, so I wouldn't eat one personally. If you don't eat them, why do you buy them then? I'm using them as a talisman for people with PhDs. You know, like doctors? Does that, like, actually work? I mean, it works for me. I haven't been to a doctor in seven years. For real? Can I take one with me then? Doctors always try to take my organs when I'm going through alleyways. Sure, go ahead. More coffee? No thanks. Too much caffeine gives me nightmares. <laughs> Since the apple isn't edible, do you have anything I can snack on? You only had a tomato and an empty bottle of wine in your fridge, and I'm not really a big tomato fan. Have some cigarettes if you want some. Yeah, I'll have a few. Mmm, they're kind of spicy. What color are they? Menthol. That's like mint, right? Uh, yeah, it's like... Yeah, it's like mint. Can we go get some food? Cigarettes aren't really well known for their nutritional value. Uh, sure. Let me get my keys. What are you down for? There's this place called Dorcia I've been wanting to try. You need a reservation for that place, and it's out of our budget, I'm sure. Unless you're paying for it. If we do go there, do you think you could get me? I'll pay you back. I broke into your house and am asking for food. Why would you even ask me that? Yeah, that's fair. Um, look, um, I have some spare change in my jacket. Um, are you feeling McDonald's? We can get something off the dollar menu. I'm pretty sure that's worse than the cigarettes you gave me. Is that a no? You mind if I turn on the radio? Oh, that doesn't work. The last owner got a breakup text and he punched it. <laughs> yeah, right? The aux cord works fine though, so you can play anything as long as it's royalty free. Dude. Are you playing Clash Royale? Yeah, and I'm gonna win. Let's go! Play a match with me. I want to see how you hold up against my hog cycle tech. Uh, uh, we could probably just walk from here. It's not that far. Walk yourself, dude. I refuse to break bread with someone who spams Mega Knight. Oh, I think that about wraps it up for tonight. This has been everybody's favorite news anchor and best friend, Scott. Reporting from LOH News Station. See you next time and have a great night.